Hi, welcome to the lesson on multiplying and dividing numbers with scientific notation. In this video, we will multiply and divide numbers that are written in scientific notation. And as pointed out in the previous lesson on this, really small numbers, really large numbers can be expressed in scientific notation. So I want us to begin by multiplying two numbers written in scientific notation. But in order to do that, there are steps that must be followed. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up those steps now and we also have steps for dividing as well, okay? All right, so this looks overwhelming and it probably sounds overwhelming. However, once I go over some examples, it will become much clearer. But of course, uh, the first step is to multiply the first factors of each number, then we're going to multiply the second factors. After that, we're gonna focus on a third step and see if the result of step one here is greater than 10 and then we'll just convert it into proper form and the same holds true for dividing in the first step we're just going to divide the first factors the second step we're going to divide those uh, divide the second factors of each number and then in the third step we're going to pay close attention to because if the result of step one which is here is less than one then we have to convert it to its proper form all right so let's go ahead and get started so I know that sounds like a mouthful. I know it looks like a mouthful. All right, so let's go to the next slide here. Okay, so let's just say that you're given, let's say, yeah, let's say that you're given five times 10 raised to the fifth power. And that's multiplied by one times 10 squared. All right, so what we're gonna do is multiply the first factors and those first factors are five and one. Okay, so we're going to enclose those numbers inside of parentheses. So five times one, then we're going to multiply the second factors. So the second factors are 10 raised to the fifth power and 10 squared, okay? So let's multiply those, 10 to the fifth power times 10 squared. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is solve this, all right? So we're gonna begin with five times one, and as you know, five times one is simply five. So we have five here, times, and the bases are alike, so that means we need to follow our rules of multiplying exponential expressions, which means that we keep the base and add the exponents. So this is five times 10 to the seventh power, okay? So that is our final answer because for step three, it says that if the result of step one is greater than 10, then we have to convert it to scientific notation. But as you notice, it's smaller than 10, so we don't have to worry about that but I will include an example where we must do that. So let's go ahead and get started with that one next. Let's clear this out. All right, so let's just say that you're given um, four times 10 multiplied by five times 10 to the seventh power. Okay, so we're doing the exact same thing. So we're going to multiply the first factors together. So we have four and five, so let's enclose those inside of parentheses. So four times five multiplied by 10 times 10 to the seventh power, okay? So four times five, as you know, is 20. So we have 20 times 10 times 10 to the seventh power. Now be careful with this. This is really 10 to the first power. So if you need to write a one there for your exponent, go ahead and do so. All right, so we have bases that are alike, which is 10. We keep the base of 10. We add the exponents, one plus seven is eight. All right, so notice that this is not written in proper scientific notation. So what we need to do is convert it, okay? So now 
take a look. Let me go ahead and write this here. Or actually, let me change the colors. Okay, so there's an imaginary decim decimal point here, right? So what we need to do is move it to the left, all right? So that the decimal point is here, all right? So we're basically moving it to where there's a number, the first number is to the left of the decimal point, okay? So this will be rewritten as 2.0, and technically you don't have to write the zero, but I'll write it here for simplicity. All right, so 2.0 times 10 to the eighth Ten to the eighth power okay so now what we've done was uh, what we've done was uh, changed it right to where we have a number that's less than 10 okay so that's 2.0 but we but now remember we had to move the decimal point one place to the left. So that means our additional exponent will be multiplied by 10 to the first power, okay? So it's very important that you get that. So this is very methodical. Sometimes you just have to keep practicing until you get it, all right? So now we're going to do, um, we're going to simplify this, okay? So we have, two and i'm just going to write two times and we have two bases that are alike because remember we're still multiplying here we have 10 to the eighth power 10 to the first power okay we're going to keep the base and add the exponents right because eight plus one is nine so our final answer here is two times ten raised to the power of nine Okay, so hopefully this is understandable. If not, please uh, rewind if you need to, okay? It's very important that you understand this concept. All right, so now let's go ahead and cover a couple of, of examples dividing, okay? Let's clear this out. All right, so let's just say that you're given Let's see, 12 times 10 raised to the seventh power. And that's divided by six times 10 to the fifth power, okay? So first, what we're gonna do is divide the first factor. So we're going to divide these two factors, okay? So 12 divided by six, as you know, is equal to what? Two, okay? And we're still multiplying, all right? And we're, multi we're I mean, not multiple, yeah, but we're multiplying, but then we're going to bring these together, 10 to the seventh divided by 10 to the fifth power all right, trying to do this uh, step by step so that way you see what's going on. All right, so now since we're dividing exponential expressions, we notice that our bases are alike. Keep the base of 10 and subtract the exponents. So seven minus five is two. Okay, so our final answer for this particular problem is two times 10 squared, okay? All right, so hopefully you were able to see that. And let's go over one more example. Okay, so let's say that you're given 15 times 10 to the sixth power. Okay, and that's divided by Let's say five times 
10 raised to the 11th power. All right, so we're going to do the same thing. We have our we're first factors that we're going to divide. 15 divided by 5 is 3. times and then we're going to divide 10 to the sixth power divided by 10 to the 11th power okay so we're going we're still keep, keeping a three right so three times and our bases are alike so that means we're going to keep the base of 10 and we will go ahead and subtract our exponents we always start from the top. So 6 minus 11 is equal to negative 5. So 3 times 10 raised to the negative fifth power. And this is our final answer. All right, so hopefully this lesson was helpful. If you have any additional questions with, um, about this lesson, please leave them in the comments below and I or someone else will try to answer your question. In the meantime, if you did not understand this the first time around, please be sure you rewind the video and work it out and try to come up with your own practice problems as well. Okay, so thanks for watching and see you in the next lesson.